What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to install Minecraft Forge, the Minecraft Forge mod loader for Minecraft 1.16.5 and how to install any mod with Forge 2. So if you want to also see the top 10 Minecraft Forge mods for 1.16.5, click the link in the description below because I do have a video on the best mods you can download for the newest update right now too. You can also click the link below in the description to check out my video on how to install fabric mods and the fabric mod loader for 1.16.52 if you want to use fabric mods instead of forge. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so what we're first going to do is we're going to go to the minecraftforge.net website. Now, everything from this video will be linked in the description below. So the Minecraft Forge website for the mod loader itself, the Minecraft mods page on Curse, so you can go ahead and download all the mods, and any other links which we're going to need for this tutorial. So on the Minecraft Forge website, you want to click 1.16.5 on the left-hand side, and then after that, you want to just click on the installer. This will download the installer for Minecraft Forge, and it'll take you to a quick add link, but just press Press skip and it should download the link down below. If you're on Google Chrome just press keep and that should save it to whatever downloads folder you have and that's the first step out of the way because we now have the Minecraft Forge mod loader downloaded. So pretty simple stuff guys. Go into your downloads folder or wherever you have downloaded all of your mods to or any files on your web browser and we can right click on the forge.jar and just press open with and then java. Sometimes you can just double click to open the file but if people have problems with opening the file that's how you open it with java. Especially people who have winrar and winzip sometimes it will open it with the wrong piece of software. So next up all we do is just make sure install client is ticked and then press ok and it should install it straight into your minecraft launcher basically what this will do is it will create a new profile in your minecraft launcher so that you can use that to actually run forge with so just wait for everything to complete it should do everything automatically downloading all the forge libraries and registering all the files and then it says successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.16.5 forge 3607 into the launcher so just press ok and now we've done the first step so the second step of course would be to find which mods we want to play with and which mods we want to install. We would go to curseforge.com for Minecraft mods. This will be linked down below if you guys want to go to that. Now there's a specific way we can actually filter on curseforge.com to find forge only mods because remember some of the mods on here are going to be for fabric too and not all of them are labeled so you don't 100% know what you're actually downloading. So under all versions you click on the drop down box and just change that to forge and that should download forge only mods. Now we don't want to sort it by popularity because not not all mods were actually updated recently. As you can see this one, Mouse Tweaks, was updated in August which means it won't be available for 1.16.5. So just press sort and then press last updated and that increases the chance that most of the mods have been updated recently. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to download a few mods. Now you can see some mods have been incorrectly labeled. For an example, Roughly Enough Items Fabric version has been labeled as a Forge version, which is obviously the problem of the mod's author. But for the most part, all of these mods will be for Forge. So let's go download a few mods. Now for an example, this Weeping Angels mod, I've actually included that in my next top 10 video. So I think that'd be quite good to download that. And we'll go ahead and find a few different mods that we can download. So we'll download this Better Shields mod. We'll download better creepers mod and we'll just have a look at a few of these mods now you can obviously search mods by popularity but you have to make sure that it's actually working and updated for the latest minecraft version we'll also go ahead and we will download the zeros minimap because this is a really popular minimap which we can install into our game and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and download some of these files. So we can just click download over here and it should automatically download the file. And we're going to go ahead and do this for every single mod we have. Now these mods which I'm downloading guys, you can download your own mods. You don't actually need to use the same specific mods which I've actually been using to actually play with them. Also some mods on Curse will actually need other mods to function to actually work properly and run them. The way you can do this is you can click on relations and if there's any other mods showing on this list then that means you'll need those to run that mod so make sure you download those too. Now this mod doesn't need any other mods to run so we can just go ahead and download that and then we'll also download the better shields mod. 
over here, which should give us some more shields for Minecraft Vanilla, which should be a pretty cool mod to mess around with. I'm not going to be showing you all of the features in this mod. I'm just going to be showing you that the mods actually work, which is why we're downloading a few mods. So we'll download the better creepers, and we'll also download Zero's minimap, which is probably one of the most popular Minecraft minimap mods, which I've not used in a long time. So that's really cool. And now we have all of the mods to actually install into Minecraft. Now there's one more step what we have to do is now that we've installed the mod loader and downloaded the mods that we actually need and what we want to play with, we're going to have to actually install them. So to install the mods, we would go into our downloads folder and we would select all of the files which we want. So the forge installer, we can go ahead and just delete this because this isn't actually a mod and we can right click after we've selected all the mods that we downloaded and press copy or we can press cut if you want to delete the files and copy them over somewhere else and then we'll go to our minecraft folder so click in the windows search bar above here and type in percentage sign app data percentage sign press dot minecraft and then in here we should have a mods folder if you've ever played with minecraft mods before the mods folder should already be in there if it isn't you are going to have to run minecraft forge once first from the minecraft launcher or you can just right click press new folder and just make a new folder called mods in here so we're going to go inside here and we have a few mods already installed from the video i did yesterday on how to use fabric mods if you do want to check that out make sure to go in the description that will show you how to install fabric mod loader and install fabric mods so i'm going to delete those and paste our new forge mods in here so that everything will work with the new process we're doing in this video so now we can x this folder off because we should have installed everything as we want to and we can go ahead and go into the minecraft launcher to test everything out and make sure everything's working up to this stage if you wanted to know how to install forge mods this is the point in the video where you can click off because all of the mods should be working or you can wait until the end of the video and see that the mods have actually loaded correctly and see till the end of the process. Now, as you can see, we have Fabric Loader 1.16.5 selected here. So I'm just going to close my game and click this little arrow and we should have the Forge Mod Loader installed here after we've installed it now. So over here, we have a profile. This says Forge 1.16.4 because I've installed Forge before and I've renamed it. But if we look at the version below, it says 1.16.5. This is the profile we've just installed. So I'm going to launch that. If it's your first time installing Forge, then usually when you launch the Minecraft launcher, the profile will already be selected for you. If it isn't, click the drop down box and have a look until you find 1.16.5 Forge like I did and then run the game. You also need to tick this box saying you understand the risks because Minecraft's just telling you that it's a modded version of the game and it might not have any play safe features on it, which is fine because Forge is totally safe. So now let's load into the game and make sure that the mods we've downloaded are actually working. Now Forge will first load the game and then it will go through kind of like a loading screen where it loads all the mods and when it loads it should say the number of mods which have been loaded in the bottom left which kind of gives you the notification that something has actually worked and then there should also now be a new mods button on your Minecraft game. So we can just click on the mods button and you can see that we actually have the mods in here. Now the reason why the mods haven't actually loaded that I installed is because this specific Forge profile on the launcher if we go in installations and i click on the profile i've actually changed the directory of it to a different folder if i just press x and change it to the default directory and press save now i can just launch the game and we should have the mods that i've showed you how to install usually if you run it for the first time after you've done the process i showed you then the mods should work instantly and you shouldn't have to do anything like that that's just because i have different folders for each version of forge in my minecraft game and i already have that profile present so now if we go under mods it now says six mods loaded and if we go under mods we now have the weeping angels mod we installed we have the zeros minimap mod we installed better creepers and better shields so let's just drop into game real quick and we'll go into this 1.16.5 save that I made yesterday in a different video and let's just see which mods have loaded. So this is creative mode so we can see that in the top left of our game right now we now have a brand new mini map which is pretty cool and if we hold tab you can actually see all of the mobs on the map which is really awesome so we can kind of see all the mobs that are surrounding us and then if we press E to go into creative and we press these little arrows to go across we now have one new menu section which is weeping angels. 
So you'll see we now have some weeping angels that we can actually spawn. If you've seen Doctor Who, then obviously these are from Doctor Who. Like I said, this video isn't a mod showcase. I just want to show you and prove to you that all of these items from the mods are actually working. So these are weeping angels from Doctor Who. When you look away from these guys, they will basically transport you to a different dimension. In our case, it sent me to the nether. And sometimes they'll follow you, they'll attack you if you look away, or they'll transport you to a different dimension. So that mod's working fine. I'm really happy with how that's turned out the mini maps functioning fine which is pretty cool too and everything seems to be working now we also had better creepers which was another mod so if we just spawn creepers as you can see this is just a normal creeper let's go into survival mode so I didn't really see any differences with the creepers, but I haven't actually looked into what that mod does. But I've shown you that six mods have now loaded and Minecraft Forge is totally working fine. So this is the process on how to install Minecraft Forge the mod loader and how to install forge mods for minecraft 1.16.5 for fabric mods click the link in the description below showing you how to install fabric and make sure to like the video if it was helpful comment below any questions you have if you have any problems with the tutorial if you need any help then i will answer your questions as soon as i can and try and help you guys out and make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on and follow me on instagram at the blue crusader for more updates on the minecraft videos thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.